Hey, good morning. Good mornings. Made a video before this. I'm still debating whether to put up or not. Just because. So, someone asked, someone stated, <laughs> and it's true, if I spoke like this, if I spoke to this, like I do in Japan, I would probably be what many would term a political prisoner. Because they don't like these conversations. If you think I like these conversations, yeah, there is a, a bit of something behind these, you'll say. Anyway, I was asked elsewhere if uh, I was OSI. And I had to think about that one because I think that's something to do with the Israeli Secret Service. I know that's something to do with the Open Systems Interface Standards, OSI, or <laughs> other things going on inside your computer. And there's also um, uh, some other OSIs out there. You, you Google it, you'll find it. So. No, I'm not a member of that OSI, but I know what the OSI is in a context, in a certain area of knowledge, right? Having to do with computer systems and interoperability type of things. So no, I'm not OSI. But the fear of speaking is, is there. I'm conscious of it. Some of these I go back and say, you know, that's uh, not healthy. Maybe. Fatalistic. Fatalistic is a big deal. Narcissistic. Uh, I don't think that word fits in there. But a lot of words do. So, I'm just speaking to mostly experience. I had the fortune to touch things, be involved, get to know them intimately in areas, you know, you, others didn't. So I share my observations, my interactions to some degree with the real world around us. That's it. That's that simple. The basis of this is military training. It involved clearances and such. From there, there was college. There were more corporate coursework than anything, and by that I mean specific programming languages constructed by a rather large group of engineers specific to a set of machines. So languages developed that people never even touched or know about. But if you know ladder logic, you, you know the outcome of that, the results of some of those things, how some of these things changed and got better and different and integrated more into how we do. So this artificial intelligence thing, you know, it, it's uh, insidious. It's already around us. That's how it works. So to Japan's disaster, one of the, the common things is no one died from Fukushima fallout. Well, th that's wrong on many levels. It's hard to prove that anyone died directly from Fukushima radiation. But you can find the evidence from the plant manager that stayed to fight and try to contain the disaster that has since passed away. The effects of the disaster, one result was a, a coliseum, a stadium full of people, all getting symptoms of a flu-like symptom at the same time. So Japan has an advantage here over any other nation state that has had these incidents. They have a single reportable healthcare system that can actually track. 
the population and the population's reaction to events of this size and scope and nature. So that's where Japan is right now. Now look at the political turmoil in Japan surrounding this. The politics of telling science what it can and can't do, the politics of telling healthcare professionals how and what to diagnose, the politics of setting safe, allowable limits. The subtle understory, undercurrent inside of Fukushima is the massive changes made to safe levels. You get into a, a term, alera, allowable limits, acceptable limits. It's used in the nuclear industry extensively. Well, all of those limits were changed, including in America. All of those limits were raised significant amounts in America as a reaction, as an effect of Japan's fallout. That's simply a fact. So Japan should be on top of the harm caused by Fukushima's fallout. They have a baseline leading up to the event, statistically, methodologically collected, consistently across a whole nation state. So this healthcare thing gets back to America's healthcare systems, disparate broken systems overcharging you, hiding some of the environmental effects going on around, not hiding them, not hiding them. A medical profession doesn't do that, but he is guided how to die, what he can diagnose, right? Uh, good lucks, good lucks. Hope you enjoyed it.